What is up guys, my name is Alec and today we're going to be talking about shadow banning. Shadow banning has recently been a major problem and big news within the Instagram community. It's been a thing on Twitter before but I don't know too much about that. So shadow banning is when your posts, photos and videos don't come up under the hashtags you used for them. For an example, you can put a picture of some dogs up on Instagram and use the hashtag dogs. Now, if you are shadow banned, your post won't come up under the hashtag dogs, but it's not as simple as this, because if you go and check now, your post is definitely gonna be under the hashtag dogs. It only disappears for people who don't already follow you. You and all your followers are going to see your posts in the hashtag dogs, but everyone else who doesn't follow you will not see your posts under the hashtag dogs which sucks and it's a major problem for people trying to grow their Instagram and expand their reach. Everyone's aware that Instagram has been decreasing everyone's reach and engagement is getting pretty low, but this shadow banning thing can be a problem. Now, all of the following tips, I cannot guarantee anything. These have worked for me. I've managed to get most of my accounts unshadow banned. Yeah, so up next, I'm gonna talk about how you yourself can check if your account is shadow banned how you can potentially get unshadow banned, I don't guarantee anything, and then how you can avoid it in the future, or if you're not shadow banned, how you can just stay away from it because you don't want to go there. But um, yeah, like I said, I don't guarantee anything, and I wish you the best of luck. So to check if you are shadow banned or not, you're going to have to have an account that you want to check. So for example, if you want to check the account dogs, um, you're going to have a different account, so let's say cats, that you're going to use to check if the account dogs is shadow banned. So you're going to go onto the account cats and it's very important that the account cats doesn't follow dogs. The account cats, when you're on there, you want to go into the hashtags that has been used on one of dogs posts. For example, if you put hashtag dogs, you're going to see if his posts are under dogs, but dogs is very widely used. Um, is what I've been doing is I've used the hashtag IG testing to see if my posts are coming up from someone else. I can find these leaks. There's only like 15 posts under that hashtag. Use whatever hashtag you want on one of dogs posts and then go onto cats that doesn't follow dogs. Go under the hashtag that you used and if you can see the dogs posts, you're not shadow banned. If you can't see them, I'm afraid you are shadow banned. Don't worry, there are some things you can do to get unshadow banned. I'm not guaranteeing any of these. I have tried pretty much all of them myself and I've managed to get most of my accounts unshadow banned. And the first thing you wanna do is send report messages, like endless report messages to Instagram through the app. You so if you go under report problem here, something isn't working. And I just say that the photos aren't coming up under the hashtags I've used on them. Now I send that like anywhere between two to ten times a day, four days in a row, and then my account got unshadow banned. Now what I was doing at the same time is I started posting twice as much, okay? Now this was to show that I am not a spam account, because shadow banning normally bans spam accounts. Um, this is to show that I'm not a spam account, that I am an actual general human that's just posting what he wants and stuff, and I was just being a lot more engaging. I was liking more pictures, commenting, like, not spammy comments, you don't want to comment just a smiley or something, you want to comment something that interacts with the photo or the post you comment on. Now I normally post from one to three posts a day. Now when I first found out I was shadow banned, um, I continued doing that and then I raised my game. I went from anywhere between three to eight. Now I know some of you don't have enough content to put out eight posts, but try to just put out as much as you can because I definitely think that helps. Um, there's another rumor going around where people are saying that just stop posting for a while. You can try it. I'm not saying that it doesn't work, but I wouldn't go around that route, especially because not posting for a week, that could damage your engagement even more than it already has been from the shadow ban. So my account was a personal account and I changed it from a personal page to a business page. And don't worry if you're a business page, just change it back from a business page to a personal account. I'm not saying do this forever, but maybe do it for a few days. Um, that seems to definitely help. I don't know why, but I've read online as well that it's helped people, but that's what I did. I changed mine from personal to business. Now, what I did that some of you might not want to do is I bought an Instagram ad for $30. 
but I didn't spend the whole 30 dollars on it. After I found out I got unshadow banned, which I think the ad definitely helped, um, I deleted the promotion, so it just stopped spending money on advertising. But I definitely think that helped. People who've already placed ads before, maybe try going back to a personal account for a few days and just leaving it at that. If that doesn't work, go back to a business account and maybe try posting an ad again. You never know, that could help. So yeah, that's how I fixed it. Reported to Instagram constantly as a problem be twice as more engaging and try changing your account from a personal to a business account or a business account to a personal and try purchasing an Instagram ad to see if that helps. For those lucky people who have never been shadow banned, here's a few tips that I use that can help you stay away from it. One is Instagram automation. I suggest avoiding all kinds of bots and schedulers that post later for you and that follow, unfollow, all that stuff. This is because Instagram follows and tracks your IP from your account. So if you are posting and liking stuff from one place and then there's another server with a different IP address which is the bot that is following unfollowing for you at the same time Instagram is gonna see this as something fishy and then they'll shadow ban you because it looks like some spam so I still use Instagram automation I use follow liker but I use my own IP address and I only use it when I'm not using my phone. Like when I'm using the automation, I'm not even logged in on my phone. I would never automate and be logged in and use it at the same time. That is a big no. That is definitely something that will get you shadow banned. So I suggest you guys stay away from that. Now, this is how I got unshadow banned. I hope this was helpful to some of you. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments section. I would also like to hear your opinions and thoughts on my techniques. If there's a technique that you used that I didn't mention, leave it in the comments below as well. Um, and thank you for watching. Peace out.